Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with an update for my project polish. So this update is very overdue and I was supposed to upload this update for like a month ago or even even maybe more than that, maybe two... Maybe, maybe my last update was like two and a half months ago, not sure. It's been a while. Let's just jump straight into it so I can go through the um, nail polishes that we have uh, and I'm gonna start with my swatch wheel right here. So the first color on my swatch wheel is this shade right here. It's kind of olivey green. And that one is a shade from Rimmel. And that one is one of the Metal Crush nail polishes uh, in the shade uh, Gold Save the Green. So when I first put this in, this was completely full. And it was all the way up there, as you can see. And as you may have seen already, that is where I am now. So I did get a decent amount of progress on this. However, this is getting really, really thick and hard to use. I think I may have like one more manicure in this. I've been trying to thin it out with nail polish uh, because I'm out of thinner, unfortunately. I need to order some new nail polish thinner. Hopefully that will make everything easier. But I've been trying to do it with nail polish, which is not ideal. And I know that I may ruin my polish, but as you can see, there is not much left of this anyway. So hopefully, like I will finish this before it goes like bad before I add too much nail polish to it if that makes sense um I'm rambling on that is how much I have left like I said I think maybe I have one more manicure two more manicures um so I probably could have finished this before this update should have but I just got really tired of this this is not a summer shade in my opinion and I haven't worn this much um I wore this about a week ago and that was my last manicure with it so I'm definitely 100% going to finish this for next updates. Even if I have to force myself to use this, uh, I will definitely finish this because I can't have that little left and not finish it. And then next up on the swatch wheel is this glittery shade right there. And as you can see, there is a little X next to it, which you hopefully know what that means. Uh, and that means that I've finished the bottle. So this is what it looks like currently. That is where I was last time. And you may think there is not... There are still some left, as you can see right there on the side. It may be really hard to pick up, I'm not sure. But if you look on this side, there is completely nothing left. So what happened is that this has been standing up for... Yeah, I mean this is, has been standing up by itself for like two weeks and it's not settling. This is completely solidified and it's impossible to use. Um, even if I did put an air in in this, I'm not sure if it would be able to save it. But I would get one more use out of this so i just don't feel like it's worth it but that is like i said where i was last time and i did manage to finish it and i finished this up quite a while ago so i'm really really happy about that this is really really nice shade used to top things off with and it was nice using as an accent nail and that's basically how i used it up and i actually really like using glittery shades now when i discovered a peel of base coat because yeah, it's been really easy to use and before the only thing that I didn't like about glitters was taking it off. But using a pair of base coat that has been really easy so I'm definitely into glitters more and I'm happy to have used one of my hollow um, polishes up. This was definitely not my favourite hollow which is why I wanted to use it up but this is out of my collection now and I can focus more on the hollow polishes that I prefer. So next up on the swatch wheel we have this shade right here. Uh, and that shade is from Essie, and this one is one of their polishes in the shade Tarte Deco. I put this in uh, for last update, and um, it's a really, really nice summer shade, so I've gotten quite a bit of use out of this one. So I'm going to show you where I am at the moment. So it's quite clear to see where I am, but that is where I was when I started, and this is where I am today. So I've gotten a massive amount of progress out of this. This is also an Essie bottle, which is quite a huge bottle. I'm not sure how much these kind of contain but comparing it to for example the Mermel one you can see the size difference and this one definitely contains a lot more so um i've been loving using this and i've used it quite a bit we are kind of entering the end of summer so i'm not sure how much i would want to use this and i think my progress will slow down but hopefully i will be able to use this up maybe in three months time that's going to be my goal um but yeah i love this shade i am kind of a little bit sad i put it in this project because i i'm gonna be sad when it's gone but i'm sure that i have several other polishes similar to this so that's why i decided to use it up um, and if i do miss it a lot after i finish it i can always repurchase this is a permanent color in the um se collection so i'm not worried about it but it is a stunning shade and i have been loving wearing this so next to that shade we have this shade right here which is 
from Viva La Diva, which is a Swedish brand, I believe. And as you can see, it doesn't have a cross next to it, but it has like a little line. And that is because I have decided to declutter this polish. So, um, as you can see, that is where I was when I put it in, which is last update, and this is where I am now. So I have not used this much. It is a mini polish, and I was hoping to get way more progress out of this. However, this is the worst formula of nail polish that I ever had. It doesn't matter how long I let this dry, if I put one coat on, it's really streaky. I put two coats on, it looks better, it's still a little bit streaky, but that's what I do. Um, I leave it, I can literally still watching series for four hours, letting it dry, and as soon as I do something, it kind of nicks it. It makes it like really, really messy, it's like it never dries, it's impossible. Um, also, it's really streaky, like I mentioned, and it's just the worst formula that I worked with, so I'm definitely going to declutter this. I don't like it. I don't know how I used that much up before putting it in this project, but I used to don't like it. I've been looking at the swatch wheel, which I let dry for like... I put it, this out for like, I don't know, maybe a day, I think, uh, before putting it in my drawer. And I actually repainted uh, a layer on top of it to make it less kind of bumpy, but as you can see, it just, it just looks disgusting. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but it just looks not that nice. Um, so yeah, it, I don't know why I kind of repainted it, because I know it would be kind of messed up again when, as soon as I put it in my drawer, but that is the reason why I'm decluttering it, and I just can't stand that polish, so it's understandable that I'm letting it leave my collection. Then we are up to the last polish, which is this red one right here. So that one is actually the one that I'm currently wearing, um, and yeah, it's a little bit chipped now, not too bad, but I'm gonna repaint my nails today. Um, I'm actually gonna use one of the new polishes that I put in, which is why I waited. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you my progress on this one. This is another polish that I put in last update, and as you can see, that is my progress line. So that is where I was when I started, and this is where I am now. So I almost finished this up completely. I'm really, really proud of my progress. I've been loving wearing this. I love wearing red all year round. Um, so it's an easy color for me to use. And it's a really, really nice red. I like it. It's kind of like a true red. And it goes with everything. So it's a really easy color for me to reach for. I didn't mention the brand of this. Which is because I didn't ma I didn't mention the brand of this because it is a random brand. I got this in a kind of like a goodie bag when I went to an event. And it doesn't have a brand. It's more like a marketing thing for a company while I was there. Don't remember. But that is why I haven't mentioned any names or brands. Um, anyway, so that is where I am. I'm definitely going to use this up. Probably, I think I may have, again, one more manicure. I am wearing it today, so I tried to use it up. But it just didn't quite get there. Um, but I'm not mad about it. I'm definitely going to use this up again for the next update. So I'm really excited about that. So those were the polishes from last update. I finished one, decluttered one. Um, and then had really really good progress on two of them and then this one is kind of mediocre progress So let's start by showing you the polishes that I'm gonna add in We're gonna start by with this one right here Which is like a peachy nude color and that one is from Barry M And this one is one of their regular nail paints in the shade Peach Melba so as you can see, that is my starting point of this polish. Um, I'm gonna use this as a, kind of like a nude shade. Hopefully it's gonna go quite well with my skin tone. I'm not sure if it will clash, but I think because I am going on holiday in two weeks time, so I think that as soon as I get a tan, it's gonna look better with my skin tone. So that's kind of why I want to use it up now. I know this may roll into winter because again, it is quite a large bottle and I do have quite a bit left, but I just wanted to put it in and use it up and yeah, it's a beautiful shade and I wanted something kind of nudish to add in, but the nude polishes that I do have, I don't really want to use up right now. So I decided that this would be kind of a good middle ground. And then for the last polish that I'm adding in, we have this far kind of end one, this right here, which is kind of like a glitter shade from Maybelline. And I decided to add this in because I did finish off my other glitter and I just kind of want to have something to change it up with. So this one is one of their nail polishes, I can't remember what this is called because the sticky fell off, but it's one of their polishes in the shade Knitted Gold. And as you may be able to see, that is where I'm starting. It's quite clear because it is separate and I need to shake this up, but I'm basically halfway through the bottle, just, I think just under halfway through. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be really excited to play with this and add it in because it's really nice accent shade and I think this will go really, really well with the Peach Melba shade. 
as well as the gold and also um, the peach shade. So I think all of those will go good together. I think the only shade that won't really go with it is this one right here. Um, I think they will just clash a little bit. Maybe actually they will go because there is some goldish tones in this one and also in this one. So I found it was a good shade to add in. I'm just going to play around with it, but that is my starting point. So there we have it you guys, that is my nail polish wheel right now, it looks in looking quite nice, I'm really happy to have another two polishes out of my collection and goals for next update will be definitely to finish up the red as well as the gold um, or like olive green, those two will definitely be gone my next update, that's 100% done, if I don't finish that I don't know what I will do, um, but I will finish them because I basically have one or two polish curse each in these, so those will be done. And then for my last goal is probably to finish up about half of what is left of this. Maybe it's under, but if I can get to half, that would be ideal. Those are my two goals, or three, if you kind of separate these two. But that, you guys, is all for this update. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it's a little bit late, and I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to be better to keeping up with my updates. I've just been crazy busy. But yeah, I hope you're having the best of days, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.